Do you have a move coming up and you're wondering how can I get rid of all of my clutter? I certainly don't want to take it with me and I'm moving to a smaller space that is not going to hold all of the possessions that I currently own. Well, you are in the right place because in today's video, I'm going to share lessons from Let It Go, which is a book by Peter Wash that's all about downsizing your home. I am professional organizer Katherine Lawrence, and I help you live a life with less clutter to have space for the things that truly matter. There are great benefits to downsizing. One, you release fear, overwhelm, procrastination, and resentment from all those possessions that you have building up in your home. By eliminating excess in your house, you can achieve a lighter, more open mindset of joy, relaxation, motivation, and focus. All of those things that have been accumulating in your home are burdens to you. And through the process of downsizing and letting go, you're actually gonna unburden yourself from things that you have kept over the years out of obligation or just inattention. Through the downsizing process, you are gonna rediscover your true self. So you are going to be shedding back layers of belongings that may represent who you were years ago, but it's not what you're really about right now. So moving to a smaller space is going to force you to only take those belongings that represent who you are today in this present moment. Now, when you start going through your belongings, you better believe there's going to be some emotional stress. There's probably a reason why you haven't looked at these items in many, many years. But don't worry, downsizing can actually help you manage that emotional stress by putting it behind you and moving forward. You want to have the mindset that you are not losing your stuff. You are creating a new home and you want to stay focused on that new vision, that new life that you are creating. This is a chance to shed negative attachments to the past and reframe emotions. So all of those possessions that have any type of negative attachment to them, guess what? They're gone you don't have to take them with you. And this process is going to force you to leave them behind. So as you're reviewing these items, anything that comes up as something that is negative or has any kind of bad energy, you can let that item go. Keep the story, not the stuff. Many of the items that you've collected represent a memory of something that happened in your life. If something is an insignificant memory, or maybe you don't even know what the memory is anymore, discard that item. If it's an important story that shapes who you are, you can take a picture of that item. You can take a short video about that item, or you can even relay the story to other family members. This will keep the memory alive, but you don't necessarily have to keep the item. Sort like items first and save very emotional items for last. Please do not start this process by pulling out a box of letters or a box of photos. You want to save those until you have gone through household items that maybe are not as emotional. Kitchen items, clothing, books, it's going to be different for everyone. You know, people have different emotional attachments to things. Whatever it is for you, do not start with the most emotional item first. Save that for last. This is a chance to form new relationships with family members. Everyone will have a role to play. You're most likely not downsizing by yourself. Your spouse may be there, your kids, maybe even your grandkids. And so family members are a part of this process. Maybe you're downsizing the family home and your siblings are involved as well as your own children. This is a time to figure out what people's strengths are and how they can contribute to this process. For example, if you have someone who is very organized, another family member, you can task them with going through certain items like the kitchen or a closet. If you have a family member who's particularly good at scanning photos, 
give them that task of going through the genealogy and getting it organized digitally so that everyone has a copy. The dining room test for treasured items. What this test is, is gathering all of your treasured items from your home, all of your prized keepsakes, letters, photos, all of the things that are of most significant to your life. If you can stack them and fit them on top of your dining room table, it's most likely that they will fit into your new space. When you're downsizing, you're gonna come across quite a few what he calls, I might need it, items. And you wanna ask yourself, would you pay for it again? And it works like this. Look at these items that are useful, but not necessarily useful to you. For example, rugs, pieces of furniture, maybe articles of clothing, some household items, tools. If someone ransomed those and asked you to pay for them to get them back, would you do it? And if not, they should definitely go. And the reason for this is there is an expense that comes with moving and storing items. So essentially by moving and storing these things, you are paying for them again. And you wanna decide if that's really worth it. It's really important that you assess your new space because you only have the space you have meaning there is only so much that you are going to fit into the floor plan of your new space. So get a sense of how large the rooms are compared to the space you have now. Measure closets, shelving, count your kitchen cabinets and drawers, and figure out exactly how much space you're gonna to have to move your possessions into. And finally, return, sell, give, donate, and dispose of all of the extra items. If you have items that are in your home that belong to other people, now is the time to return them. So explain to your grown children that the house is for sale and give them a date for them to come and pick up things that they have left behind in your home. You can sell extra items through a garage sale, social media, or if you have expensive items, you may want to have an auction house come in and help you sell those items from your home. Give, give, give. Give those items to family members, to neighbors, to friends, to your church. Think of people who want these items. And if you cannot find a specific person to take the item, donate the item to a local charity. And then of course, some items are just disposal, trash and recycling, and you can have a local hauling company help you remove those items from your home. I hope you have enjoyed these lessons from Let It Go, Downsizing Your Way to a Richer, Happier Life by Peter Walsh. There is a link below to the book on Amazon. It's also available in audio and on Kindle. Below there's also a link to my quick start declutter guide and there are some tips in there to get you decluttering your home today.